Estimating project cost accurately is an essential factor for project success. That's why in this video I'll walk you through project cost estimation and why it is called estimation. Also what are the cost estimating methodologies that we usually use to estimate the cost of projects. And if you stay until the end of the video I'll share with you some numerical cost estimation examples for you to understand how it works. And let's begin with what is cost estimation. Cost estimation is calculating the probable cost of a project based on the quantum and the scope of work and the required materials, equipment, manpower, and subcontractors required for the project. But why is it called cost estimation and not, for example, cost accounting or cost calculation? Simply because in construction, you can get the same materials and services from different suppliers and subcontractors at different prices. Plus, the productivity of manpower will vary depending on project circumstances and site conditions also. Also, in construction sites, there is a huge amount of uncertainty because so much works are there and so many parties are involved in the construction. Not forgetting to mention project general requirements and material wastage and so on. That's why it is impossible to calculate the exact cost of a project and that's why we tend to estimate instead. And this is where the word estimation is coming from. Take an example, any building materials. We can supply at different rates from different suppliers. And some specific materials, especially metals, are subject to monthly international price change. Definitely we can negotiate the prices of the materials and all, I know that. But this is done when you are procuring the material, not when you are estimating the cost of the project in the beginning. There is also a wastage factor for all the materials in the projects. And wastage is usually calculated from the shop drawings. But at the time of estimating the cost, you might not have all the shop drawings ready yet because the contract is not yet signed. And usually shop drawings are prepared after signing the contract. Even if the shop drawings are ready and wastage can be calculated, there is no guarantee that no materials will break during shifting or installation. So you have to start making some assumptions to account for that. Such assumptions is what we call the basis of estimate. There are assumptions for labor productivities, project water and electricity requirements, and the project staff requirements as well. Knowledge areas such as project management, planning, cost control, procurement, contracts, are there to control the project and costs. But this is during execution, not during tendering or estimating the cost of the project in the beginning. That's why we have to assume things and estimate the cost accordingly and that's why it is called cost estimation. And if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmed Adel and you are watching Cost Engineering Professional and here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, you can quickly subscribe. Now regarding project cost estimation methodologies, there are two methodologies used to estimate the cost of a project conceptual and deterministic cost estimating methodologies. And I have talked about them in details here on the channel in one of the videos. I leave the link to that video in the description down below in case you want to know the details and the differences between each of them. But generally speaking, conceptual cost estimation is a methodology used to estimate the cost of the project when the scope of work is not very well defined. And it doesn't require much time or efforts to prepare as it depends mostly on historical data and past experience. An example for that can be how much is the cost to construct a residential building of 250,000 square foot built up area. Well, if we know from our past experience that residential buildings cost around 250 dirhams per square foot, then this building will cost around 250 multiplied by 250,000, which is equal to 62,500,000 dirhams, for example. In a very short time and using only the building built up area and the construction cost rate, we will able to estimate the cost of the project. However, this is not an accurate estimate because we don't know anything about the project other than the built up area, which makes this type of cost estimation suitable only for early screening or budgeting purposes. On the other hand, deterministic cost estimation methodology is used when the scope of work is very well defined and the project requirements are very clear but it requires much time and effort to prepare it. As it depends on accurate measurements and market quotations and rate breakdown analysis for all the required materials and services in the project. And to do all of this, you need so much time and effort, but in the end, it produces a very accurate estimate that you can use for bid submission and tendering. So when preparing a deterministic cost estimate, we need to be looking into the prices of the materials, equipment, manpower, and subcontractors or specialists required for the project and of course the project general requirements as well. And now let us have a look on how the rate breakdown analysis looks like. As you can see here on the screen, we need the flooring tiles rate breakdown analysis. 
So for example, first of all, we need to supply the tiles. And now I am calculating the rate of one square meter of tile. So one square meter here multiplied by the supply rate of the tiles, which is 35. So one into 35, that's 35. Then we need 10% wastage, and this is an assumption. So the quantity here will be 0.1 square meter multiplied by the same tile supply rate, which is 35. And this will be equal to 3.5. Then we need also supply of seven centimeters sand. So 0.07 cubic meter multiplied by 55 dirhams. That's 3.85 for the supply of the sand. And also we have a swelling factor here of 25%. So I'll just take 25% of the 0.07 and this will be 0.02 again multiplied by the same rate which is sand supply rate 55 and that's 0.96 and also we need cement sand mortar 2 centimeters depth so this is measured in cubic meter and the quantity will be 0.02 and this will be multiplied by the cubic meter rate of cement sand mortar this rate we can calculate it here as you can see mortar rate breakdown to produce one cubic meter of mortar, we need cement 10 bags and we need sand one cubic meter. So 10 bags of cement multiplied by 12.5, that's 125. And for the sand, we need one cubic meter into 55. So that's 55. So 125 plus 55, that's 180 here. So I'm just putting this rate here, multiplied by the 0 0.02 cubic meter, which is the quantity of mortar required, that's 3.6. And we need 25% wastage of mortar as well. So 25% of the 0.02 here, I have 0.01. It's just because of the approximation, of course. And the rate is similar, 180. So 0 0.01 into 180, that's 0 0.9. And you need mason hours here, an hour to install one square meter of tiles. You need 0.8 hour. And this is the hourly rate, 14 dirhams. So we need 11.2 for the masons who will install. And we need unskilled labor or a helper hour also to help this mason. And this will be again 0.8 of an hour multiplied by the hourly rate of a labor, which is 10 dirhams. So that's eight dirhams. And then we can allow something for grouting and the spacer. So it is just an item and I am allowing two dirhams here for this. So the total here is two. And the submission of all these is 69 or 70 dirhams. So this is how you calculate the rate of an item when you are going for a deterministic cost estimation methodologies. Everything, all the information you will be doing. This can be done on Excel or any other cost estimation software. It depends on your preference and the project size, of course. And this playlist here has all the videos that I published so far for cost estimation. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate your valuable time. Don't forget to support us by joining the channel memberships and I'll see you in the next video.